It is the beginning of spring here on Iloranta Holiday Village. None of the ants have, as yet, come out of their ant nests. After all, it is only two or three degrees Celsius. The old pal ant nest is a bit disheveled from the winter. It is battered and there are several dents in its surface. Probably some internal caverns collapsed. Well, now ants have some work to do for the summer, don't they? But now it is the beginning of June and ants still haven't repaired the damage to the nest. More than that, there is now a huge crater right in the center of Old Pal. It seems that something is terribly wrong in Old Pal. At last, the ants decided to take action and in the middle of June, they formed an evacuation trail right across the surface of Old Pal. This is the start of this road. It is one of the entrances to Old Pal, located at about the center of the huge crater in the surface of the ant nest. The grown worker ants are bringing out the small young workers from inside the damaged part of the nest and carrying them to safety. It is strange that there are no pupae or larvae on this road, because ants usually evacuate them in the first place when there is any sign of danger. Here we see a grown-up worker ant carrying a curled up young worker in her mandibles across the surface of Old Pal. This young worker has probably never even been outside the ant nest before. And here we see some of the workers trying to pull out a queen. But the queen is not some small worker ant. She's at least twice the size of the ordinary workers, her daughters. She plainly doesn't want to leave the pleasant warmth and darkness of the nest and can offer some resistance to the workers. At one point the queen even manages to escape back to the nest. At last the workers manage to drag her out from the nest. The queen resists, but the workers slowly manage to lead her along the surface of Old Pal. At last the queen gives up. She curls up and one of the workers carries her like any other young worker ant. The evacuation trail was sustained by the ants for a week. After that it disappeared. Life in Old Pal now remained only in a small part of the nest near the stump around which Old Pal was originally built. But it could be seen that Old Pal was daily growing weaker. The workers didn't even have enough strength to take their dead outside the nest, and so a kind of graveyard of the ants was formed. After two more weeks, Old Pal died. This is a sad story. It proves that ants, especially in the north, are quite vulnerable and we should do all we can to help them.